Hi guys, you're with Barry here, and uh, it's my pleasure to welcome three-time Mayor of Cabrera, Jorge Cavoli. Can you tell me economically some of the plans you have on the burner for Cabrera? We're economically projects, maybe what's coming in the future a little bit, if you could kind of sneak a little bit of information yeah. to us. I can tell you that since I got in office uh, a few months ago, mm -hmm. we feel there's a new horizon, you know? from the people's perspective, foreigners' perspective. We have received like four or five important proposals for projects, not only in Cabrera, but in the Cabrera districts of uh, Baoba, this area, La Entrada, and also here in Cabrera. Mm -hmm. So we're in the process of approval of some considerably important projects here. And we're in, the com in conversation with somebody that wants to restart a plan they had. They have the land already. A very important project here. Excellent. Yeah. And also we have, and they just added, like they started like two months ago, projects for Dominican people. These uh, condos, mm -hmm. economical, uh, economic condos for Mm -hmm. for mid-class, low mid-class people, mm -hmm. which, you know, is the first time that happens in the history of Cabrera. We have two of these projects, one in Cabrera and one in Abrego as well. Okay, uh, th yes, the, uh, the uh, mid-priced apartment mid condos, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. right on the main street. Also, yeah. I have been in touch with part of the European community. We have a lot of Europeans coming to retire in Cabrera, average people, you know people that get on pension, you know, mm -hmm, and they mm -hmm. have decided to make Cabrera their home. This is very important. And I've been, we've been discussing some things they want to, they want from the city, you know, and uh, we're very open to, to give solutions to, to those claims, you know. And, but, but I think there's a chemistry developing, you know, again in Cabrera. I would so believe I have so. A, so I have a very positive feeling of what's going to be happening in Cabrera in the next, uh, years. Of course you're mayor, but why is it, we've brought over 500 people now with DR escapes and over 300 tour trips to get people to introduce to Cabrera. Why is it this region, this region that we're in, mm -hmm. seems so magical to so many? And I mean people that have been here eight, nine, ten times to different regions. What is it about this region that people love? Okay, I'm gonna tell you a secret <laughs> that you have in your eyes, but maybe you don't notice it. The strip in that includes Cabrera and Rio San Juan, okay? Mm -hmm. It has a very particular condition. Outside Cabrera and Rio San Juan, which in my opinion are, you know, sister cities in all aspects, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have the same green vegetation topography that you have here, you don't have it anywhere else in the country. Do you mean like where the mountains come out to the mountains, sea? Mountains, mountains and vegetation. Mm -hmm. Most of the country, most of the country, the coastal cities of the countries are arid or semi-arid, you know? Mm -hmm. Desert land, you know, very dry. Mm -hmm. uh, most of it is flat, you know? So, so you have some conditions here that you don't have, some tropical conditions that you don't have anywhere in our country. And also the people from Cabrera and Rio San Juan are very, you know, low-key people, very quiet people. Very much so. Yeah, and I think that's very helpful for tourism and for investment. It allows you to really immerse Besides in the, the beauty of the sea, oh, sure. the ocean, the beaches, the rivers we have, the mountains, you know. I think uh, it's a very good. I, I feel that there's some ambiance though with the people that allow you to immerse in their culture here versus keeping you on the outside they actually allow you to immerse and become part of the culture yeah and i think that's so unique about this region where uh, all you have to do is just be good and, and and just show people a willingness to help and learn and and your welcome is actually part of the family in many cases yeah and here most of the people don't have that commercial vision of the foreigners you know Mm -hmm. The one, the one, you know, they want to sell something to the foreigners. They want to, you know, people here are more laid back, you know, more quiet people that see foreigners 
in a more friendly way than what you see in the rest of the touristic cities of the country you know you see a huge commercial thing around tourism there you know you go to the beach and everybody's trying to sell you something yes and yes you go walk here you know people assume foreigners as another regular citizen you know and i think people feel you know foreigners feel free to be in town and you know I've That's been nice. I've been blessed to have been in over 100 countries and lived in six in my in my life. And uh, when I was an underwater photographer, I was shipped all over the place. But I've been virtually on every island on this hemisphere, and every one, Windward Islands, Leeward Islands. I don't know of another area in any country on this side of the equator where you can have beaches as gorgeous as we've got. And yet, Monday through Friday, you'll be pretty much the only one there. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing how beautiful and natural it is. Yeah. And um, I think that's also a drawing card. Yeah. And um, I hope there's time to maybe take a quick ride up, uh, up to the project, if time permits. But I want one last important question answered from you. Where does Jorge Tavoli see the country heading over the next decade? I know it's a hard one. <laughs> I think the Dominican Republic it's in a very strategic location, you know? Mm -hmm. We're getting people from all over South America, Central America, Europe, the United States, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, th I think we have to learn from our mistakes, you know? I think we have to take advantage of this position, important and privileged position that the Dominican Republic has, you know, and I don't see the authorities missing the big potential this island has, you know. So I think besides, you know, all the negative things that we can see in the horizon, you know, I think the Dominican Republic is going to stand up, you know, and, and do well in the, in the next year, you know. Apparently, uh, it seems to be because this will be the fifth year that the uh, nation will be breaking a record GDP. Yeah. And they're expecting uh, over, I believe it's seven million tourists uh, to touch the whole country this year. Yeah, I think so, yeah. And uh, that's, that's in this economy, as some nations are faltering, some nations, developing nations, seem to be getting stronger. Yeah. So would you basically pigeonhole it by saying you feel that the nation has a tremendous opportunity now and they're not going to let it go to waste? Exactly, that's what I mean. You know, I think the Dominican Republic uh, has a lot of potential. I think we have some difficult situations we have to deal with, but I don't think nobody's going to dare mm -hmm. to play with that. You know, I think that politicians in this country uh, have the commitment and have the compromise, you know, to do well in the present and in the future of this country, you know? Jorge, do you have any last remarks you'd like to tell the subscribers before we let you get on with your busy day? Well, you know, I want everybody to come to Cabrera, to know Cabrera, to enjoy Cabrera, and I want everybody that has the, that has, that has the interest of coming mm -hmm. here that uh, we have a very friendly vision towards foreigners, you know? I think Cabrera is a incredible town, not because I am the mayor of Cabrera or I belong here, you know, but I honestly believe, you know, Cabrera really is one of the most beautiful cities in our country, you know? And we're going to do our very best to push Cabrera as far as we can, okay? Jorge, three time mayor of Cabrera, thank you so much for taking your Sorry time. Sorry for my English, okay? Sorry for what? <laughs> Thanks for your time, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, you're always welcome. Till next time, this is Barry in VR. Catch you on the other side.